the Lone Ranger. Well, them are the Hyde Rangers. See, that's the way you learn. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. H. Huge things. Okie dokie. Um, I was recently sent some shaving soap and samples very kindly from West Coast Shaving of their new line. Unexpected, I didn't expect it, it came through and um, so thank you so much for sending them. And the soap they've sent, this is their new line so I thought I'd use it now um, pretty quick for people to have an idea of it all have my thoughts on it, I'm dying to try it anyway. And it's this one. Number 17, Rum, is it focusing? Rum Runner, four ounces. Now the tubs have changed. Uh, I think they must have had some feedback. Uh, so they've changed the tub slightly, uh, bigger mouth, and um, hopefully keeps the, when you're creating a lather in this tub, uh, keeps it more in the in the tub may not happen with me though because <laughs> another nice thing I've noticed it said it's a thirsty soap it likes water so don't be stingy it's a <laughs> so that's good once you know that's fine it's a quite a soft like a croap lovely scent to it and the notes on this are sandalwood uh, spice musk and whiskey, <laughs> like an alcoholic here, yeah. but I can't smell whiskey myself uh, or rum or anything like that. I can smell the wood, the the musk is beautiful and the spice. Um, it's a vegan friendly soap. Uh, anything else? Four ounces and there's a sale on, I've noticed on their website. I think there's 20% off certain soaps, so that's nice. Uh, and I'm not paid to say this by the way, they've sent me this and I'll tell you that they did send it and that's what I'm using today. And they also sent me some samples here of uh, different types, let's see what they are. Um, Gatsby, Rum Runner, um, Shaving Silk Road, Shaving Denali and what's this one hiding? There's always one. Shaving Secure, that one, if you can read it, there you go, anyway, thank you very much, what's this one here, oh another one on its own, <laughs> oh, smells very nice, I'm using the, uh, I thought well I'm using their soap, I'll use their brush, it's the, I not used this the other day, or the other shave I should say, it's the synthetic um, ivory handle, not real ivory, uh, nice brush, that's, I've dipped down the water, that's ready to go, um, how are you doing, before you think I forgot, how are you doing, I hope you're doing well, in good health, good spirits, good shaves, and I hope life's treating you well, and if it isn't, Damn good shave always helps. Just wet the face, right? So it likes water, does it? So what I'm going to do is re-wet the brush, get this uh, water hot. Yeah, not been bad weather. Um, bit of rain yesterday, which is good for the garden. So there's the brush. If I do that, you see it's wet, and we're going to go straight in. This should now go. <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> now, as we got for keeping it in the tub, no chance. Not with me. Not the size of this brush. Wow! I tell you, and also in this. Um, the shea butter and avocado oil. So that should uh, make it really slick and look at this, wow. Oh, that's enough there, wow. Oh, smell that. 
Oof, yeah, let's have some water to that. That's some gathered. Holy smoke, that was quick. You haven't said what razor you're using. All right, calm down, we will go through it. That is slick. You can't tell when I do that, but whew. Okay. That's the first soap that's ever felt like um, slick on my lips. Good uh, lip balm. <laughs> Merca 34C, standard razor. And I'm using a new blade. Um, it's a new Lord Platinum Class double-edged razor and blade, I should say, and it comes in an envelope like that. Now, I bought this pack as part of a sample in my shave meter in Leeds, so I'm using one of them today in this. And we'll see, overhang very slightly, non-adjustable razor, twist the bottom, it's, um, I'll show you now. God, this soap is slick. I'll show you the blade. There you go. Okay. There we go. Two piece razor, this. And that's it. Off we go. Oh, that's a nice blade, that. Didn't expect that to be. Uh, it's quite a sharp edge to that. Not as sharp or as, as a feather, a brand new feather. But uh, it's not far off it. Excellent feedback, sound, audio feedback. Wow, this is slick. <laughs> These soaps are getting good. And I can tell straight away, it's not a dissipator. It's not a soap to go airy, look at that. You could see how long I lathered that then. It was not long at all compared to some people. You know, I'm not a long latherer. Um, it stated on there, like water, so I used... You can add water the way I do under the tap on the brush. Some people, if you're posh, you add drops by the hand, like a, a master chef. Um, whichever way you do it, it likes a drink, and they stated that, and that, I love it. Um, you know, I've always said you shouldn't have to bloom any soap. Because they don't stay to do it. When they say to do it, or it works better if you bloom it, superb, I'll do it. And I'll be very happy then, because... Uh, And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, let me finish the shave here. I'm getting too excited. The scent is, to be fair, that's a type of scent. If I was to make a soap, that's a scent I'd have. Uh, it's woody, very, it's sandalwood, uh, but it's not sandalwood going to be difficult now. It's woody, uh, there's spice there, but the musk, that's what's, and it's all coming together. I'm not getting any rum or whiskey, although there is some, maybe because the last soap I used was so strong, it's knackered me senses up for whiskey. <laughs> really nice scent, I like that, that's nice. Slickness. That's good. Right, let's stop the Adam and the Ants look. OK. 
Okay. That's a lovely posh scent. Um, it's like, uh, how can I describe it? It's the same, I, it's the same likeness for me as my Tale of Old Bond Street Sensitive. Um, the black tub I used, the scent of that just hit me straight away and I loved it. And it's still one of my favourites, I don't use it often enough. And this is the same sort of thing, that scent is so nice. I mean look at that, it's just the first... That's beautiful. The scent, I wish you could... Oh, where's this smelling up YouTube? Come on! <laughs> it's fantastic, just a lovely woody, if you like woody, spicy, musky. Oh, beautiful. Right. There's... I'm impressed with the way this brush, and it's not because it's their brush, it's a synthetic brush, the way it gathered that soap then in there, there's loads of it. So back to the tap, watch this. If you want a quick shave, that's the way to go. You can't argue with that. Wow. Using a standard razor, really, that's not aggressive. Nice blade. Never tried that before. It's the Lord Platinum Class. Now, they might have been out a while. I've never used them. I've got a Lord razor. I may have used a Lord blade at some point. But as I say, this is not as sharp as a feather and it's not as sort of standard as a Wilkinson sword blade. But it's... I'd say for me personally, it's between a Persona Red and a feather somewhere in between. Um, very nice and comfortable, nice feel into it. It cuts straight through the whiskers, no issues, you can see. And this is a slick soap. Um, really enjoying this actually, it's very comfortable, very relaxing. Are you relaxed? I hope so. Oh, that's another thing. Very rude of me. I forgot to wish you um, all my American friends. I hope you had a nice 4th of July, Independence Day. Uh, it went out of my head because we don't have it here. But um, there's no excuse. I apologise about that and I hope you had a fantastic day. Um, look at that. Can you see the shine? That's where the lights are handy. That slickness that. Watch this, I won't even put water on. See the shine? That's good. Really good slickness. That's an important part of a soap for me, even though it might dissipate and you're still a bit disappointed. If it's good slickness, it means you can carry on with a shave. But uh, this stuff is just... <laughs> Loves water, you're right. Added more water again. Not back to the puck. Third pass, which is against the growth. So uh, buckle up and get ready. Right, here we go. Mm. Oh, I'm just getting the... There you are, I'm just getting mm, a slight rum, rummy type scent in the in the background there. But it's not there all the time for me. So it is there. Maybe my nose doesn't pick that up, but I can certainly pick up the um, the woody spice musk scent. Beautiful. 
Right, look at that. Close up. Don't mean to frighten you. <laughs> right, here we go. Against the growth. Have you had a good week? In general, I mean, in life. I hope so. There we go. Very impressed with the blade. Didn't have any expectations. I uh, wasn't sure what it would be like, but I wanted to try it. And it's one of them really where good audio figure. It's better than what I thought it was going to be. Um, I think that's good about having no nothing in your mind about a product. No issues with the razor clogging. Hopefully you can see that. Even though it's a slick soap. I'm relaxed really, I'm really enjoying this. The scent is beautiful. Not that we can get it here, but um, I must look on the website to see uh, if they do, or if they're going to do a cologne to match that, number 17. I think you're onto a winner with that one. And uh, these soaps are hot processed, and as I say, they're vegan friendly and they're made in small batches. Artisan soap, it is an artisan soap, and uh, those new to this channel or to wet shaving, you'll find you can buy soaps by big manufacturers and Gillette's and the, all the big names but um, you will find that a lot of artisan soaps, artisan soaps are people like um, a small business you know family business whatever making soap or a one-man band and you will find they put their heart soul and passion into it because they wanted to succeed they you know they love what they do otherwise they wouldn't be doing it they're not in it just for the money, like the big boys are. So you find that they're good soaps, good quality soaps, you know. Uh, some people are put off because it's a, oh no, I've never heard of it. And you know, that's the end of that. But always try an artisan soap. And uh, you'll find most are very good. Well, I found that anyway. Enough jibber jabber, and we're going to look at the state of me. <laughs> like a heroin addict, here, white mouth. <laughs> I'm not going to cut it out. No, I was thinking I must have cut that out. No, I'm not. It's a joke. On to the pickups. <laughs> I know I'm nuts. Okay. Just have a look at that. Look here. Look. That's beautiful. Never even went back to the puck. As I say, this brush, I don't know whether it's synthetic, it must be, because I don't know, it's just well, this particular brush, absolutely wet into the soap, didn't bloom the soap, just the brush was wet in. You could see how it kept going, kept going, kept going, until it got nice and thick and creamy. And um, you can add as much water if you want it thinner wetter 
for the wet heads. But um, that's beautiful. Didn't dissipate, good slickness, and it like that. So that's good. You can tell there's a lot of work gone into that effort. And I will say, with this soap, you do have to rinse your hands because um, it will slip. It's one of the very few soaps I've had, had that with actually because uh, you'd have to be very careful with the future, something like that, because that's got no grip on it at all. Yeah, so thanks for watching these videos uh, twice. I keep saying it, but I mean it. It means a lot to me, watching these twice a week. And um, I know, I realise, you know, they, they can go on for half an hour, some of them. Um, get too excited, I suppose, but... And welcome to new viewers and subscribers. I really appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, listen to this now, here, there, right? Hold it at the end so you can't put pressure. And I'm just using water and the slickness that's left on the skin from the shave and the soap. And it's fantastic. I know I'm over shaving it. That's beautiful. Right, let's rinse off. Warm water. Good sleep. <laughs> Don't need aftershave, bam. I'm not sure if these are going to smell. No, I can't smell anything. Oh, absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> what do you think? Good. Thayer's Lavender. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. And being that the soap was woodsy, I, I was thinking I was going to use Old Spice because uh, of the spice and the woodsiness that I had sandalwood. But what I've gone with is Aqua Velva Musk. And uh, yeah, good, um, good aftershave for this. Just a bit. Any feedback? Wait a minute. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing. oh just a tingle here, I like it, it sounds weird but I like a bit of a sting, I don't know just, you know, I used to hear my father screaming in the bathroom, <laughs> sometimes, if he'd already done it, maybe that was a bit of an exaggeration, um, and then, we're going to use the L'Oreal Men Expert Hydrate Sensitive 0% uh, Alcohol or Colorant and it's for sensitive skin 
but the main thing is it's got soothing birch sap and so I'm told a lot of cosmetics in the future will contain birch sap so that's the way they're going forward using natural things like that and oh the scent there is nice and smell it mm. this uh, must be a good thing I'm no expert at it but, but uh, nice to know that's beautiful really really enjoy that relaxing comfortable shave so we'll uh, go over what we've used so we've used the razor first the Merca 34C it's a two-piece razor um, well maybe three of the top but as you use it it's a two-piece razor and use the Lord uh, Platinum Classic blade part of a sample pack from the traditional shaving um, shop in Leeds where I had the meter come in that envelope um, very impressed with that blade as I said I had no expectations from it um, but it was better than I thought it was just between a, for me personally a persona red and a feather but not quite as a you know not quite as sharp as a feather but not quite as um, mild if you like if the word as a persona red not that it's mild but you know what I mean it's in between uh, nice blade worked well in this razor for me a uh, slight overhang it's a non adjustable good weight to it nice balance but it's a short handled razor if you like them you'd enjoy it if you don't you won't um, that's that then we used the West Coast shaving new line one of the new line which is the number 17 rum runner and um, fantastic what can you say it lathered up quickly it was slick from the word go it's the first very few soaps where I've had if there's a slight bit of soap on my hand it's slippy on here for me to notice I don't usually have that bother with any soaps really even macaroot um, but this you need to rinse your hands um, in order to grip the razor well the first time I've noticed it anyway uh, very slick, easy to lather, um, good protection during the shave. The scent, uh, I don't get my, you know, there was a whiff of some rum, maybe whiskey, whatever, that scent in the background in one pass. So it is in there, but my palate or my nose isn't picking it up. I was picking up the wood, spice and the musk combination and it's absolutely beautiful scent um, so it's a good soap and a good scent really nice uh, it's a good choice to send me that actually the puck because you could have sent me any of the scents but you sent me that one I don't know if you just a guess or what but it was a damn good guess it was really nice um, and of course the West Coast shaving synthetic is ivory handle brush lovely good brush and then we um, rinsed off with water, we used the Thayer's Lavender, good stuff. And then we used Aqua Velva Musk, that's lovely. There's a slight brutey type something in there, but it's lovely. It is musky, very nice. And L'Oreal Men Expert, Hydrosensitive, 0% finance, 0% alcohol, no colourant. <laughs> And natural birch sap see that natural birch sap very nice very happy everything went to plan lovely well better than plan look at that no issues no dots so really nice so I'll leave you in peace yet again uh, this midweek and only to say as always thanks to West Coast shaving and um, I'll put a link in the description to their website so you can see the other ranges they've got of so the new lines. Good luck with them. And I can tell you've done a lot of research and uh, a lot of work because that's a damn good soap, fair play. Really nice. Thank you for watching, for your support as always. And I hope you have some fantastic shaves. Um, 
I hope life's going well for you and I hope you're in good health. Um, and I'll see you then on the weekend for the midweek shave. So take care.